Walker County leaders are not talking about explosive allegations of abuse and neglect inside the county jail. As we first reported last night, a federal lawsuit claims inmate Anthony Mitchell froze to death in the jail. The I team Cynthia Gould is here with what she learned today in Jasper. Cynthia. Brenda, first from Aaliyah, who is handling this investigation. A spokesperson says due to the sensitive nature of the ongoing investigation, the agency does not have any details to share. But many in Jasper today demanding answers now. These images of Anthony Mitchell came from the family's attorney, taken before a downward spiral of meth addiction and what they call serious medical and psychiatric issues. This photo from January 12th, when Mitchell was arrested after a family member called for a welfare check. The sheriff's office said Mitchell fired a weapon at them. Mitchell's face was spray painted black. His weight, according to relatives, had dropped 100 pounds. Two weeks later, this secretly recorded video by a jail supervisor shows Mitchell appearing lifeless, carried out of jail, headed to Walker Baptist Hospital. There, an ER physician notes Mitchell's internal body temperature was just 72 degrees. The doctor suspects Mitchell died of hypothermia. He froze to death. No matter what, he should have, he should have been took care of, mental health problem or not. These images are from a federal wrongful death lawsuit filed by Mitchell's family. Attorneys claim Mitchell was kept naked in a holding cell not meant to house inmates. No bed or toilet. Jail staff accused of being indifferent to Mitchell's deteriorating condition. The lawsuit also claims Mitchell was tased, his false teeth removed, meaning he would be unable to eat. Outside the jail today, a small group of protesters and throughout Jasper, many telling us. Justice needs to be served for this poor guy's family. That's how I feel. I mean, what if it was yours or anybody else watching? Now, I did speak with Jefferson County Chief Deputy Coroner Bill Yates. It is his opinion, based on the ER doctor's notes, that Mitchell was alive but dying when he arrived at Walker Baptist Hospital. Yates said there is no medical condition or disease that would cause the body temperature to drop that low to 72 degrees. The Alabama Department of Forensic Sciences is handling the autopsy in the case. Cynthia, we know you'll stay on top of any developments as this case unfolds.